People are familiar with it as a toy, so they can relate to this type of art almost on a different level because of that familiarity. You know, if someone sees a marble sculpture, they can relate to it, they can appreciate it, but they don't have it at home. You know, people don't have marble they can chip away at at home, but they have Lego bricks, and so it allows people to connect to this type of art. But I also like Lego for that that very distinct lines it makes, those sharp corners, those right angles that you see in all the little squares and rectangles of my work. When you see it up close, it's all sharp corners, but then you back away and all those corners blend into curves. And I think that, that's the magic of using Lego bricks. When I'm working on a new piece, I want to have a vision in my mind of what that final piece is going to look like before I even put down that first brick. So I try to put a plan into place as I'm working, and as I'm working, I'm actually gluing each individual brick together. So it's a slow process. Now if it doesn't look right, I take out a hammer and chisel and will chisel apart part of the sculpture and rebuild it to get it to look as I want it. Early on, I realized that Lego bricks could be anything I could imagine. Uh, I didn't have to follow what was on the front of the box or follow the instructions. I could just build what I could envision. So if I wanted to pretend to be a rock star, I would just take those Lego bricks and build myself a guitar. If I wanted to be an astronaut, I could build myself a rocket ship. The toy became anything I could imagine it to be. 
So my advice for others is, if you want to explore using Lego bricks, just get some bricks and start building. Use your imagination and see what happens. Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.